Hey everybody, this is Bug Out Junkie on a Bug Out Junkie adventure. Commentary. Well, if y'all don't know, I am from Texas, and in Texas, most of the time, you got to bring your own shade. So, I usually take my shade with me everywhere I go. Uh, this is my sombrero. But, um, I love this hat. I, I got this hat at a, a car show in Texas several years back. It was so hot that day, and that sun was beating down. I mean, beating down off, and then beating up from the pavement. I mean, it was hot, and couldn't find a tree or shade anywhere. So I just bought one of these hats from one of the vendors that was there, and it's been a a great investment, I must say. And if all else fails, I can always catch the damn thing on fire if I need to start a fire. But, um... I want to talk to y'all about a few things. First and foremost, I want to thank all my new subscribers. I appreciate you. I uh, am new to this. I'm almost at 100 subscribers, and I've been doing it for a few months. I've had I've had shout-outs from other channels, and I appreciate that as well. Uh, a lot of y'all I talk to on a regular basis. You know, some of y'all we even talk on the phone and stuff but uh you know this adventure started from a series of unfortunate events the main event was of course the COVID-19 crap and then uh the next event after that was the mandatory vax for my employer I mean I could go get another job but I mean I've spent years in this field and it's pretty much it is what it is I uh, liquidated all my assets got everything uh, caught up and paid up and taken care of started buying survival gear now I've been a prepper for years um, and I've got a mag that I'm part of and we're in, in different parts of the United States of course not too far away from each other a couple hundred miles max in either direction um but um you know i'm here at this spot and i've been to 10 different states in the last or been through let me correct that been through 10 different states in the last 90 days 120 days and one thing that I've noticed that wherever there is an RV park or a place to park an RV in a state park or in a national forest on the side of the road in Walmart parking lot, they're full. There are people out here with families. There's people out here who are disabled. There are people out here who work, but they cannot afford to live in a house anymore it's the bills are just too much everything's too expensive um they've either lost their jobs and happen to have a uh, an rv and decided to move into that you know now the tent sites that i've been looking at they're not uh they're not too full yet they're going to start getting full here pretty quick um i'm for sure on that now in the major town that's about 20 miles from here, what I have noticed is that the tent cities are starting to pop up uh, pretty good. I mean, all under the bridges and overpasses and little medians where there's trees and things like that, these tent cities are popping up and I'm seeing kids out there with these people. I mean, children, families, and they're living in tents already. So they already got a, an advantage uh, I like to look at my situation as having an advantage on what is to come. I've not been fortunate enough to homestead, um, but like I said, I have prepped for years. And uh, so 
having that little slight advantage no matter what it is even if you do have a homestead even if you do have all the ammunition in the world sooner or later it's going to run out because they're not giving us any more not any 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 cheaper i mean their ammunition is about the same price as food now isn't it it's maybe a little bit more expensive but uh what i am seeing is more families and more people in rvs pop-up campers, Winnebago's, old buses. And like I've said, I've been across several states and uh, it seems to be consistent. Um, people, I just want you to know you need to prepare, keep preparing uh, because you never can tell when you're gonna be out here with Bug Out Junkie. Now I've been heard it's said that bugging out is not easy but then again I like to state life ain't easy life ain't gonna just make everything easy for you sometimes you're gonna have to put a little bit of sweat blood and tears into it you know sometimes that water you go to turn on that faucet it's just not going to be there you're going to have to figure out what you're going to do and you can't get to walmart to get a bottle of water what you going to do what's what's around you you know seriously what what is around you that You can drink besides what the government pushes through your pipes so never think that it can never happen to you regardless of what your situation is uh, situations comforts can change at any time and you have to be prepared you know, I've asked the Lord to show me the way and tell me what to do and, and all that. And this is where I am. This is what I'm doing. I'm about to be 54 years old. I don't feel like it. I certainly know I don't act like it. But I would much rather be living in a tent, eating tree bark, than submit and comply with these outrageous socialistic Marxist antichrist propaganda that's been thrown down our throats I ain't gonna do it I will not do it I'd rather live in Jolene than comply any little bit I ain't giving them a dime for nothing no electricity no water no I ain't, they ain't getting nothing from me but resistance and I am resistance I've always been that way always been hard-headed but I've also too learned from experience as in some of my recent videos goes as far as preps are concerned that I do have preps in other states and caches with with my mag members it's not the end of the world the world is continuing to go on but there are people out there that will come to you in wolf's clothing or come to you in sheep's clothing I guess that's the best way to put it sheep's clothing I don't rehearse any scripts I get on here and I'm coming right off the sleeve I'm coming to you raw and unfucking filtered you know I'm not into you know trying to go out and buy all this expensive shit when you don't really need it uh, you know basic skills I mean my gosh the tribes of North America seem to have done it for 10,000 years or better just fine. And the same thing with all, you know, the entire world. We can do it. You can do it. You just have to practice. You have to keep in mind that you need to be safe, of course. But you also are not a punk and you're not stupid. And you're not going to go out looking for a fight. But you will defend what is yours. Whatever's left of it. But I would think if somebody come to my house... That I had all my preps there. That I had it sheltered up and a place to make a stand. 
Am I making that stand with my family in there? Or have we just decided to say we got to get out of here? They can have it. Our lives are worth more. All that's coming. Pinball Preparedness had done a video the other day about marauders. And I must say I have to agree with him. That normal, everyday people who haven't got a, a clue as to any prepping or survival skills whatsoever are going to be out on the streets. They're going to be looking for places. You know, and I, I cannot stress that knowing how to make a fire is imperative okay you're not going to be using charcoal lighter you're not going to be using a lighter or matches you use a ferro rod you know i can't do the two sticks because i got the corporal tunnel thing going on but only on fridays and today's saturday so i still didn't use a stick but anyhow you've got to know those basic things people how to make a fire how to filter water and how to get you some shelter okay even if it's just piling a bunch of old logs up around to get you a windbreak or you know something you've got to learn these skills you know I, I truly believe in prepping I truly believe in that but like anything else easy come easy go and a lot of times that easiness comes with clarity that uh you just you just didn't know you just you didn't prepare right but being able to make a fire find water filter water and make a shelter will help you be prepared if you do have to run off or bug out from your homestead from your home from your apartment from the town that you live in it will help so anyhow this is Bug Out Junkie with another Bug Out Junkie commentary. God bless you. Stay safe and do not comply. Be part of the resistance. Ciao, baby.